Hi, it's Leon, and it's still winter here, but it's just warm enough for me to be outside to show you a project that I've been thinking about all winter while on the trainer indoors. And this stems from, I noticed the fact that after I had been riding outside all last season and being quite comfortable on the bike for hours at, and hours at a time, uh, the first ride on the trainer, I was sore uh, on my seat within an hour. And I even had some numbness, and I thought, well, what could be the cause of that? Then I got to thinking, well, I think it stems back to the fact that on my particular trainer, and many trainers like this, the rear wheel is in a fixed position. And so because it's in a fixed position, the bike can't move left to right. It can't oscillate with your natural movement. So it's like sitting on the bike, and instead of there being a motion like this as you pedal or as you go around curves and stuff, it's absolute fixed, and so that's not good for the circulation. So my solution to the problem was to build a platform that would allow the bike to actually oscillate. So I did that by combining leaf springs in opposite fashion so that there could be a, a spring effect. And you can see that, I'll have some close-ups in a minute, but I just wanted you to see uh, what it is that I've done and how it works in operation. And then I'll get into what, it, what I did to build. And you can see that it actually, I can swing with it quite readily and pull them out, which is just enough for it to feel more natural. Even on standing up sprints, it feels more natural. This build is actually quite simple. I was able to find everything I needed in exactly the right lengths. The only modification I had to do to the leaf springs was to disassemble them and keep only the main spring. And the aluminum channel at the top only needs one cut and eight holes drilled. Only a wrench required to get to this point. And here I am testing to see if it has too much or too little spring. I think I got lucky. Now to cut the aluminum at the right length, I have 22 inches and 26 inches. Uh, this is a high quality uh, metal cutting, high precision blade. It's very fine tooth, it's perfect for aluminum. Uh, you're seeing uh, a eight times uh, speed increase there in that part of the video. Here I am drilling one of the eight pilot holes. There will be an eight X speed increase during this take. Here I am drilling the actual holes and once again an 8x speed increase during the main part of the drilling. The particular piece of aluminum I got was pretty beat up. Um, not much you could do about that. They don't consider it to be a, a finished uh, piece. So uh, I'm quite happy to just have a uh, sort of a matted finish, which is easy to achieve with any kind of a, a sander. So that's what I'm doing here, and of course this is about 20x in a speed increase. It took me some time to do this. It turned out all right. Here is the hardware for attaching the aluminum to the main assembly. Okay, and then so here is a flyover of this completed design. And here's the underside. Now those leaf springs will probably need some repainting at some point. They weren't well finished. They're, you know, they're ex intended for a trailer. <laughs> and here we are with the pieces that will attach the, the trainer to the, the assembly. and. Then this is the final, final completed build. I 
And there you have it. And with the bike in place, you can also see that I still need to build some kind of a platform for the front.